next slot. I'm here with Kamichi and Rose. I'm, I'm about to get put on yet another wonderful meal, yo. I'm about to start hanging with yo. <laughs> Watch, you gonna go back home, man? I thought you was flying back. Like nah, bro. Another week, another week. So yeah, we got these uh, shots a week, man. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. All right, uh, let's let's cheers. Uh, pros prosperity and health. Yes, yes. That uh, was a great week. We got a lot done. We had, had some great meetings, and now uh, you know we celebrate. Yeah, I did an episode um, over here one time. I, I came over here with Safari. Oh, we had for a real? session over here. Yeah, this was back in um, early 2015. Yeah. No, I don't think you have 110 degree lights. Nah, you fuck you. You get dizzy and pass out. Yeah, I ain't no one. I got a low immune system. I'm waiting for another guy. I gotta do that fucking jogging while you say your verse and shit. Remember Bally? What was it Bally Total? A long time ago I used to do that. That shit ain't no old. But man, when you break the limits, it does, it does pay off. I feel like that. Fucking working out. Ain't gonna get nothing until you just. I can't wait to do that. You know that just that one shit that you, you just can't man, get up, but you got to saw my surgery. Ah, push that no. shit out. God damn. I lost use to my leg and my hand. For real? Just got it back. God damn. Like, you still have, like, all. Like, no. Feel everything? Two of my fingers is gone. I got. Well, they're not gone, but I don't feel shit. You don't feel anything at all? Nah, I ain't you got no it? strength in them. I can't. Put that shit on the stove. I punch niggas with three fingers. <laughs> damn. So you, you, you're fucking. Your fucking punch fingers should be broken, you wouldn't even know. Punch me, yeah. <laughs> punch me, Julie, yeah. All my fingers dead. Nah. You gotta pull up right now. It's all good. But whoever yeah, left this open is in trouble. Bro, yeah, you don't do this. Nah. You trouble. see this? Yeah. I, I just open that shit like a normal day. Wow. He's not happy about that. the studio of all places. <clears throat> now, who am I meeting? Dash. Yeah, yeah, she's a, what do you want me to tell him? Bro, anything, bro. He's rocking with us. He's trying to actually help your son, man. You know what I'm saying? He was, like, because he got a whole distribution company, studios, engineers. This is the third. We're just waiting on him. Hey, bro, did you drop that? No, that's Kamichi. Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> hey, Goose just don't want to make it out. Yeah, <laughs> bro. So, so you're Max Goose's son, huh? Yes, I am. Your dad is a, a, a real famous manager. Let's talk, tell us about your dad. Man, my dad, bro, he's he's something else, bro. He's my inspiration. He's the reason I even wake up in the morning and want to do music. Like, he's really changed my life. He's a role model, just like my uncle here. Um, you know what? The way that they Black came Count. up. You know what I'm saying? Like, their story just inspired me. You know what I'm saying? He started off in a basement, you know what I'm saying, with one artist, one producer. And, That's right. And they worked their way up. In Florida. And so it's, it's crazy, like... For me, it's not just the fact that he's my dad. It's the fact that he actually exists as a as an individual. He came up from nothing, you know, and just that transformation alone is so inspiring and so it's so truthful. It's so genuine, you know. And the fact that he has an ear and an act for, you know, talent that's so rare. It's a rarity, especially when it comes to music. Especially nowadays, I, I thrive to to be something different than just a wave in 2018. And that's because of my pops. That's because of this dude right here. You know? My I, nephew right here. Exactly. Like, Fuck the wave. We the yeah, ocean, man. The ocean, exactly. My nephew right it's an here. Oasis. Doing big things. So we, we was just talking about um who's your who's your father working with right now? Who a big artist? Uh Saweetie right now, but he's he's worked with, you know, a lot of legends in the game. You know, Beyonce, uh YG, uh B2K, you know, Ty Dollar Sign. But it's the fact that he can take an artist from nothing and develop them into something with just a vision, you know? That's power, that's all mental, you know? I live by, you no, know, I live and die by those words. It's not about paper for me. Exactly. It's always been about turning nothing into something. Exactly. You do that, the money's gonna come. I think that's the secret of life right there. Yep. Nothing to something. So you say you're doing some A and R. You're discovering artists too. You're not Absolutely. just, you know, you 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 following your father's yeah, footsteps. So exactly. What, what you working on right now? Well, I'm also a producer. I'm also a, an artist myself, a pianist. But you know, it's 
the way that I was told and taught up in this world is that you have to separate your artistry from your business. You have to find a, an equal grounding standpoint. So for me, I have two artists right now. I have a, a Latin artist and I have an R&B artist. Uh, and I'm trying to brand myself as a, as a producer as well. Um, I'm just trying to put all of my eggs in individual baskets and you know, reap from that. But in a smart and a very business and factual way, not just I'm trying to make money. Like he was saying, the money will come. It's not about the money. It's about the vision. It's about doing what you love. It's about finding the genuine in your sound. I feel like every artist and every producer and anybody that touches a piano, touches a guitar, should follow those elements. Because if you want long longevity in the music game, that's Diversity. what it takes. Exactly. You must be diverse. You it's must a formula. be multi-talented. Exactly. You have to be able to write. You got to be able to produce. You got to be able to video edit. You got to be able to do everything. Or else it's not going to happen. Right. Diversity is longevity. When one door open, a window cracks. Mm. Truth. Man. When a door closes, pardon me, when a door closes, a window cracks. That's what I always say. Every time a door closes, I look for a window. <laughs> That's a black count stamp right there. Mm -hmm. Put that on your Facebook status. Facts. <laughs> so where can everybody follow you at? Uh, you can follow me at This Is Miles Goose on Instagram right now. Um, you know, follow me. See what we're about. See the evolution. See where we're going to go. That's a beautiful journey. Yeah, you can follow me at on IG, Black Count, RR. Follow me, Kamichi 232 y'all. Shredding, no. Let's get this work in. This nigga's next. We're about to do Monster Energy, do big things. Go on tour, festivals, all that good shit. Black Count and the Protégé, man. We It's, it's big things definitely happening, you know? 2018 is an amazing year. And now Shout out to my family. Back. Shout out to my cousin and my family, Max. I know you on the road. Shout out to Max, yeah, man. We got thing, Definitely, man. last time I seen Max, I had to be with I years, I linked up with you. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the fam, you know what I mean? Everybody watching, shout out to y'all. I mean, we do this for the, for the greater good for the people, man. Yeah. We do this for y'all. How long you had this spot? Um, we just moved in maybe about a month and a half ago. How'd you hook up with my nephew? Um, he's one of my students. Yeah. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And where do you teach at? I teach at a school called SAE. I know exactly what that school is. I actually did a lecture in the one in New York. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so they I called me and did a lecture there. Nice. Yeah, I did a lecture at Five Towns and I did a lecture there. Nice. I need to ask y'all a question that y'all probably get every time somebody steps in here. What's that? <coughs> Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi? Uh, Midnight Studios 5G. That's the one. I got it. And then... Pause it. Uh, I'm not going to tape us. I just want to see what it looks like. No, so great. What you got there? Alpha? Ooh, 7S. I was thinking about getting that 7R3. What do you like? What do, you, do you like that one? Yeah, I like this one. The 7R is just... It's too more much. buttons. It's just more buttons. I only wanted it for the 4K. That's the only Yeah, this one is 1080p. Gotcha. It can shoot in 4K. Gotcha. But that one is full-blown 4K. Gotcha. I just didn't want to spend the extra... What, what, this, uh... This is two grand for yeah. the body. Yeah. The other one is... I didn't want to spend an extra 500. Yeah, no, I'd I hear rather you. buy. I hear you. I'd rather buy equipment. I hear you. It gets expensive. I've already spent, honestly, about thirty five hundred. Yeah. With yeah. the monitor and then the lenses. The lens. They kill you. The the even this fucking uh, tripod was a hundred dollars. Yeah, they kill you with every little thing. Every fucking little thing. You see this exposure? Let me see if I can fuck with this. So I think not too long ago, from what Miles was telling me, your son was out here, yeah? Yeah, that's my son. 